on its lowest setting, if you click it here, it's got about a half inch dark blue flame with about a two, two and a half inch overall flame. And then nice and easy, go ahead and turn it up all the way, click it again. Now it's got about two and a half inch dark flame and then the overall reach is closer to eight inches. Uh, it's got a lock here on the back. Holds it in place so you can you know use it like a lightsaber, ward off roofs, whatever you want to do with it. Um, the other feature it's pretty neat is see if I can do it one-handed here. This piece turns. And then you can actually use it, you know, your doing your food, your creme brulees, all that good stuff. Um, I guess it is kind of handy if I wanted to try to get it into the side of the grill and be able to go like that. Which, as you can see, goes out pretty fast. Creme brulee and um, a low torch head. Here we have the, the torch head and the fuel canister. You will see it's different from a refillable torch uh, canister in the sense that the top has a flange with a notch cut out of it where the other one hasn't. It's got a very thin nozzle, um, so I'll put that aside. So when you look at that, this one has got a, a tab which fits into that notch. You just press it and give it a quarter twist. And that's it. That's it. Then you open the fuel, press the trigger, and away you go. It also has an adjustment for the flame, which you can adjust so it gets a nice Nice flame, of course, you can go from a very small to a really big 8 inch flame. Now, we're going to start off by doing some uh, creme brulee. Um, so, I've got about a te teaspoon and a half, two teaspoons of sugar that I'm going to put on there, shake it to just even it out, and on a, about a medium flame, we'll just start torching. Um, you'll see I'm using a circular motion to make sure that I even out the heat over the whole area. And um, when it starts smoking, you can just uh, take the flame away for a, for a second. And you keep going until all the sugar below is actually melted. Um, you see it evens out into a... and um, a low torch head. Here we have the, the torch head and the fuel canister. You will see it's different from a refillable torch uh, canister in the sense that the top has a flange with a notch cut out of it where the other one hasn't. It's got a very thin nozzle um, so I'll put that aside. So when you look at that this one has got a, a tab which fits into that notch and you just press it and give it a quarter twist and that's it. that's it then you open the fill, press the trigger and away you go it also has an adjustment for the flame which you can adjust so it gets a nice nice flame of course you can go from a very small to a really big 8 inch flame now we're going to start off by doing some uh, creme brulee um, so I've got about a te teaspoon and a half, two teaspoons of sugar that I'm going to put on there, shake it to just even it out, and on a, about a medium flame we'll just start torching. And I'm, you'll see I'm using a circular motion to make sure that I even out the heat over the whole area. And um, when it starts smoking you can just uh, take the flame away for a for a second, 
and you keep going until all the sugar below is actually melted. Um, you see it evens out into a nice even 